Hello, everyone. It's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here is your five minute tip for this week. So, I did a conference recently, Ed Change Global, with Catherine Lasser, and she told me about this extension called Slides Timer. And she actually did a blog on the extension. So, this link will be underneath the YouTube video, but it's called Slides Timer. And you just, of course, get it from the Google Chrome Web Store and you click Add to Chrome and you will have it. The cool thing is, you don't have to actually click on the Chrome extension unless you want some tips. So I'll tell you about that in a second. But what it does is it puts a timer on your slide. So of course, a lot of us go to YouTube and we insert the little YouTube video right here for our timer. The thing that I like about this is that you can do different things. So it's not just to put the timer, because if that's the case, you can just use the little YouTube video, right? But it does other stuff. So as long as you know how to find your greater and less than keys, you are good to go. So this is just a regular old text box. And all I did was put the uh, less than, less than, greater than, greater than, and put a time in between it. So if you do that and you hit slideshow, you'll see that it automatically starts counting down. Now I'm going to escape, but the thing is, is, you know, I made this really big in the middle of the screen, but put it wherever you want to, change the color, put it in a text box, I don't care, make it as cute as you want to. I'm just kind of showing you the functionality of it. So the cool thing is, is if you want different timers on different slides, that's fine. So this is just the first slide, but then when I click to the second slide, there you go. So nothing starts until you're on that slide. So you may have seen with Desiree, this one counting down and this one counting up, and you are correct. That's because we put this plus sign right after the time. So if I wanted to switch this and make it five minutes, is that easy? Slideshow. And there you go. And then when I click here, it's going to count up because I put that plus sign right there. Now, the minus plus. So what this is gonna do is count down and then advance my slide. And you may be like, that's right. Oh my goodness, all these symbols. First of all, this is a video. So you can rewind it whenever you want to, but I'm gonna show you where you can find all of these written down as well. So I want it to count down and I want it to advance my slide. So let's see how that works. Five seconds, three, two, one, and it advanced my slide. Now this one is going to start my video. What? So to start the video, I said I wanted to count down with the minus sign and an exclamation point for the video. And of course, I inserted the video, I'm going to insert video, and I just used one of my own YouTube videos by URL. So how awesome is that? So the next thing is for audio. So the at sign, exclamation point. So I'm going to start with the video. I'm going to click slideshow. Four, three, two, one, and it starts my video. But then when I go to the next slide, it's going to do the same thing with audio. The directions for this slide. What? So again, it's a little more than just putting a YouTube video of the timer because you could do all of these other like advanced things as well. So Last thing I wanna show you is time and date, and then I'm gonna show you where to find these things. So if you just put time and I go to slideshow, it's going to actually put the time. This can be really, really helpful for me because I do international um, presentations and things like that. So it could be really, really helpful to help me stay on track up to the second, right? Um, and then we have date. So I could have just left it on time and then just hit the button. Um, but there you go for date. So if you're like, okay, I really like this. I like that I can customize it. I can make it, you know, whatever color I want, put it in a text box, do whatever, and it's still going to do what you want it to do. How do I remember all these little things besides coming back to your video? First of all, come back to the video. Hello. But if you click on the extension that you never have to click on to actually make this work, all you need to do is put these symbols and whatever you want in between. But if you do click on it and you scroll down, it shows you what everything that you can do, even some stuff that I did not show you. So, oh, 
awesome. I'm so glad Catherine brought this to my attention because I absolutely will start using it. And I thought it was very, very helpful for all classroom teachers, all educators to just keep you on track, not only keep you on track for what you're doing. If you give a break or something like that, I can put this up. If I want to give my students time to discuss things, you know, anything like that, all the, of course, different reasons we use timers. And that's what I love about Catherine's blog post is that it goes through like, you know, how would I actually use this? How is it really, really helpful for me and my kiddos? So there you go. This is the extension called Slice Timer that you can get from the Google Chrome Web Store. Good luck.